Hey guys, welcome to my channel, The Analyst. Today we look at cross validation. We basically use it with the KMRS neighbors algorithm. Right. In cross validation, what we do is that, say for example, we're taking a 10 fold cross validation. We break the data sets into 10 folds and we use 9 folds to basically frame the model and the last fold will be used as the validation set. This is repeated 10 times where the validation set keeps on changing for each of the 10 steps. At the end what we do is that we basically compute the errors. We take the mean of the computed errors in order to arrive at an optimal value of k. For this example we will use the credit approval data set. Uh, the link of this data set will be put in the description. Moving to the demo. As you see over here, the first thing I did was uh, my initial steps, which basically is used to queue up the environment. Then for this example, I've used a 10 fold cross validation. I use Pacman to load my libraries and then I read the credit card data set. I will check for values of k from 1 to 50 and I'll only check for the odd numbers. The reason for doing so is that uh, KNN is basically a majority vote supervise machine learning algorithm. So over here, I train, I use train.kknn. Now why I use train.kknn rather than cv.kknn is only because it is more computation efficient. To read more about this, you could basically use the documentation. Just type kknn over here. and the documentation should be at your disposal. After training the model, what I do is that basically I check for which value of, so I've trained this model using cross validation and now I want to check for which value of k basically I get the least error. So I print basically the errors for all the mean absolute errors for all the values of k. As you can see over here, the error keeps on reducing and at 23k equal to 23 basically we get the least error. After that what happens is that the values increase all over again. So it's more like an elbow curve. That's it for my this video. See you all next time. Thank you.